here we are again. We're going to do the um, Rub-A-Dub streamer. We've been asked to show a little bit about our brushes. And the Rub-A-Dub streamer we make with a brush. And um, the brush we make out of gator hair and Rub-A-Dub dubbing, as well as some enhancer. The uh, uh, Rub-A-Dub dubbing that we're using for the streamer is black. However, this Rub-A-Dub is hair's ear because I'm also going to do a hair's ear nymph with that. The Rub-A-Dub um, streamer also has Rub-A-Dub wigglies in it and gator hair. And our gator hair is one of our favorite uh, streamer materials and um, we always stick a little bit of enhancer in it. Um, so first off I'm going to tie in a little bit of gator hair for a tail and uh, we don't make the tails really long on these. We make them a little bit short on the short side and I like to um, taper the tails a little bit which I which I do after I after I tie them in. Now it's up to you exactly how much I got too much gator hair. How much gator hair you want to use. I don't like to use a, a lot of gator hair. I like the action and um, I like to stick a little bit of wigglies in the rub-a-dub wigglies in with the tail and I put them on top of the gator hair which um, helps give it a little bit more action but gator hair is is a wonderful product and I just tie those in over the top and tie it back down leave them a little long and if if you know you can always shorten them so anyway that's that's the tail simple simple fly now our gator hair brush like i said is made out of gator hair it's our it's our um, streamer brush actually it's what we call it on the uh, website that we sell and it's uh, rub-a-dub dubbing enhancer and gator hair. I just tie the brush in. This is the coolest thing. You can just tie that in, bring your thread all the way forward and you've got um, a, a fly and this fly really has a lot of action and it's been a dynamite streamer. Got a little bit of enhancer in it so it's got some sparkle to it and it's got those wigglies in it, which really give it a lot of movement. I like to bring the brush right up to the, the bead and keep brushing it, of course, with my Velcro brush, which again is a tongue depressor with the male portion of the Velcro on. Okay, I'm going to cut off my brush. Now, our brushes are made with wire, so don't use your good scissors when you cut it off. You will really mess up good scissors real fast. Take a pair that are really getting old and you don't care about dulling them up a little bit because the wire can be cut with a fairly, fairly uh, dull pair of scissors. Okay, now I've got that tied really, uh, wrapped really quite well, so it's tied down good. Now, to help give it a little bit more action around the bead, I like to take some wigglies, and I'm using the, the what we call the rub-a-dub wigglies. They're a little bit bigger than GX, and I just pull it up under the thread and, and bring it around, and... I'm going to do another little bit on the other side 
and some on the top. So I can just spread it all the way around the hook almost. And that, of course, gives it even more action. Just ties it all together really good. And I'm going to wrap those down. And, and they're all the way around the bead. So there's wigglies there in front. And again, I'm going to tie that off. Cut my thread. Do a little bit more brushing. A dynamite fly. It works just about anywhere. Maybe not in salt water, but we haven't tried it there. Maybe it does. Okay, so there's your rub -a dub streamer. Great fly. Easy to tie. You know, we, we sell a lot of different dubbing brushes. And uh, the streamer brush is one of them. Now I want to tie what we call a, a rub -a dub nymph. However, um, I'm just basically doing this to show you again the um, brush. We sell uh, rub -a dub brushes and again we use them with our uh, rub -a dub or we make them with our rub -a dub dubbing and we put a little bit of enhancer in them. And I'm going to do a uh, hair's ear one and use some wigglies for the tail. We use a lot of wigglies. They just give the fly so much action. So I'm just going to tie in a little bit of brown wigglies for a tail. And there again, you can make make it as long as you want. Um, you know, everybody has a personal preference. And um, I just kind of keep them a little bit on, more on the short side. And I'm going to tie in the nymph brush. Again, make sure you use old scissors when cutting these brushes because they're made with wire. Now, this is a Rub-A-Dub nymph brush. We also make uh, Generation X nymph brushes and they're very popular. We sell a lot of them and they have the wigglies right in them. All you have to do is wrap it on the hook I, I do sometimes tie in um, some material to make a wing case, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just wrapping the brush just to show you how easy it is to make a nymph with this brush. You know, any kind of winging material you can tie in and wrap the brush around and then bring it over. Then I cut that off. Uh oh, you're not supposed to break your thread. I'm going to tie that on good and then I'm going to wrap it again around a little bit. I want to bring some of the wigglies around the eye or around the bead of. Um, the nymph also, and I do it the same way. I just go under the thread and bring them up so they stay pretty much where I want them. Just gives them a gives it a little bit more action around the bead. Okay, and I'm going to tie it off. And easy nymph with a nymph brush. And you can cut off some of the excess wigglies if you don't want them that long.
This is a size 12. Um, our brushes actually you can tie right down to a size 18. So try it. Give it a try.